Hi, I'm Susie Schellenberger, editor of Brio Magazine, published by Focus on the Family. And I love telling people around the world about the gospel of Jesus Christ and the excitement of living in radical obedience to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Some of you look in the refrigerator and you clean it out, or you're supposed to, and you start throwing things away. I, I look in the refrigerator and I have to figure out what things used to be. You know, like uh, a few weeks ago I threw out a lime. And then I thought, wait, wait a minute, I don't, I don't even buy limes. <laughs> it was a three-month-old head of lettuce. <laughs> and you know what? I, I take vitamins. Many of you do too. I take vitamins every morning. And sometimes I drop a few. They roll underneath the refrigerator. And I have to be honest, girls, I never pull the refrigerator out and clean behind it and underneath it. Does anybody really do that? I mean... But, you know, I do worry about it. I do, because, you know, those vitamins are under there. And I'm, it's scary. I'm afraid someday I'm going to come home and there's going to be a six-foot cockroach in my kitchen <laughs> where Nike's going, I feel good. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> right now is the time to work on your relationship with Christ and with each other. I need Jesus. I need Jesus. He went against the crowd. You need to go against the crowd, too. He didn't put it off. He thought, Jesus is my only hope. He's walking by right here, right now, and I'm not going to put it off. I'm going to take advantage of this moment right here, right now. I hope you too will really take advantage of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning. Our time together is precious. Right now is the time to focus on the really important issues. I hope that you have realized tonight Jesus is your hope. That he is your answer for every question, for every doubt. He is the answer. If you haven't yet fully realized that, I hope that in the next couple of days you will nail that down and you will realize He really is the only one who can fill this void in my heart. He's the only one. Jesus really is the answer. People of all ages hunger for a true experience of God. They want it to be real and practical. Jesus wants to empower you to go against the crowd. What's the crowd doing? The crowd's drinking jello shots. The crowd's messing around with eating disorders. And the crowd's messing around with cutting. And the crowd's lying. And the crowd's into internet porn. And the, the crowd is putting too much information on their blog. And the crowd is doing this. And the crowd is doing that. You know what? Jesus is saying, go against the crowd. I don't want you just mixing in and looking like everybody else. Because you're not like everybody else. You're different. I have a higher calling on your life. I place my hand on your life. And I want to raise you up. Because you are a princess of the kingdom. That's what Jesus wants to do for you. And so Jesus says, go against the crowd. Don't mix in with the crowd. We all need to be reminded how special we are in the eyes of God. We are called to be His church right here on earth. I hope that you too will nail down some of those very basic issues in your lives. You know, girls, there are some issues that we don't need to keep going over and over and over and over and over with again. Is Jesus really the Son of God? Yes. Just nail it down. You know, is, is there really a heaven and a hell? Yes, there really is. Just nail it down. Yeah. Yeah, but... You know, there's so many good people in the world. You know, so, some of my friends are Muslims, and I've got some Buddhist friends, and they're just really good people. Uh, Jesus, really? The only way to heaven? Yes, nail it down. The only way you can get to heaven is through a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Just nail it down. But is it really wrong, you know, to be sexually intimate outside of marriage? I'm not having intercourse. I'm just, yeah, sexual intimacy outside of marriage, it's wrong. Nail it down. There are just some things we just need to nail down and we shouldn't have to keep going over them again and again and again and again. Just nail it down this weekend. Nail down those basic issues in your life that you need to nail down. So Jesus said, all right then, begin seeing. And the man was immediately healed. Wow. The man was immediately healed. Now, I don't know why Jesus chooses to heal some people right now and some people he doesn't heal until they get to heaven. I don't know why my mom was never healed. I prayed for her all my life. Please heal my mom. Take away her arthritis. Now she's healed. And God's timing, we don't understand that. So be it. We don't have to understand it. All we have to know is He is Lord. Whether we understand it or not, I accept it. You are Lord. I don't have to understand. You are Lord. So ladies, as we close tonight, Jesus asks you the same thing. What do you want?
And I know that you already know. I'm not saying God is a big Santa Claus in the sky saying, yeah, I need a new Porsche. <laughs> I know you know I'm not saying that. He's not a Santa Claus or a genie. But tonight he is here and you are at the right place at the right time and he specifically is right in your face saying, what do you want? Ladies, what are you worried about? Girls, what are you concerned about? Would you give that to him tonight like the worry family did? Would you bow your heads and close your eyes? As we wrap this session up, our very first time together, Jesus is here. And he's in your face in the most gentle, loving, intimate way possible. And right here, right now, Jesus says to you, what do you want? Will you tell him? Right now, with their heads bowed and your eyes closed, tell him what you want. Jesus, I need a relationship with my daughter. God, I need to understand my mom. Jesus, there's this guy that back home and I, whatever it is you need, bring the need to him right now. Jesus, how can I grow closer to my mom or to my grandma who brought me or my aunt who paid for my way to come here? But first of all, settle the spiritual things first. Lord! Is he really Lord? Settle the spiritual things first and then come to him with your other wants and your other needs. Lord! He pleaded. I've settled it all. I've nailed down the very basic issues. Lord! With your heads bowed and your eyes closed, what do you need Jesus to do for you this weekend? Tell him right now silently. And if there are spiritual issues you need to nail down, start nailing them down right now. Dear Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you for the fact that you don't want to just be kind of close to us, but you want to be lovingly and intimately in our face, that you want to draw us into you, not just next to you, not just close to you, but into you. Jesus, that's what we want too. And Jesus, we ask that you would give us revival this weekend. Start the moving in our hearts that you need to do. Change our minds and our thinking and our souls and heal our relationships with each other. We're going to make sure that you are the one who gets the credit and the honor and the glory and the praise because we know all good things come from you. In your name we pray. Amen.